What's going on people? Back with a bang. This is The Money Management, back with another video for you guys today. So it's Sunday, that means it's the last day of the weekend. Tomorrow, you're probably looking forward to going to work, doing your online classes, studying. I don't know if you guys, some of you are going to school, apprenticeships, internships, whatever you may be doing. It's a new week. Now, there are some of you guys who are looking forward to a new week because it's Monday, you love what you do, you get excited when it's a new week. And there's some of you guys who are dreading what you're going to do this week. Now, either way, it doesn't matter whichever one of those you are. But what I'm here to discuss today is a few things you guys can do to start learning. Because in this life, you know, no matter if you love what you do or you don't love what you do, you need to be learning. So like I said, I'm going to give you three different types of learning that you guys can do because a lot of people don't realize, you know, how much they have access to, what they can be doing in their free time, especially on days like this when it's a Sunday, you're kind of bored, you know, you're chilling, you're relaxing. And I'm going to explain just why you need to do that and what it's going to do for you going forward. You guys are winners. You guys want to be winning. That's why you guys are here. You know, this channel only has high aspiring people with people with big goals, big dreams, all that kind of stuff. So what are you doing to change, you know, your fortunes? If you're looking forward to going in tomorrow, what are you doing? If you're not looking forward to going in tomorrow, what are you doing? Either way, you should be learning each and every day so that you can improve your situation, put yourself closer to financial freedom, put yourself more in control of your time, and overall, have a better life. But before we get into that bit, I do want to say a huge thank you to you guys because yesterday you guys outdid yourselves. On yesterday's video, we had about 18 likes, you know, almost 20 likes, which is quite good for this channel. We had a lot of views, we had a lot of comments, so all that good stuff needs to continue. That means, on this video, again, the usual, liking, commenting, Subscribing if you're new around here. Just let me know some feedback and most importantly sharing these videos with your friends I see a lot of you guys are sharing these videos with your friends So that's good. We get them out to more people help me out and I'll help you out the usual stuff So there are different types of learning and I'm gonna get into them and you know All of us like to do learning in one of these three ways I'll definitely say you know most of us do like to learn in one of the three ways I'm gonna mention you know you guys might be one of them You might be two of them for me I think I'm two of them some of you guys might even be all of them but I guarantee you, you guys are not learning enough. You guys are not using enough to your advantage yet. So hopefully by the end of this video, you will have learned some more tips so you can use them going forward, not only today, but also in the future. So the first type of learning, visual learning. So visual learners predominantly absorb and retain information better through what they see. So that could be pictures, that could be examples, that could be videos. But not only that, that can be posters, that can be mind maps, that can be post-it notes. Whatever it is, visual learners learn through what they see. Now I'm sure most of you guys are visual learners because you guys are probably watching this video and you know seeing what I'm talking about and obviously you guys learn through watching something while you're hearing it as well. And those of you who are more analytical people who like you know look at bar charts, diagrams, you know anything to do with bar charts, that kind of thing, I'm sure you guys are visual learners. Now that's the first type of thing and I'm going to explain a bit more about that later. But let's talk about the second type of learning and that is auditory learning. So this is for those of you who like listening to things, you know, discussions, podcasts, Q&As, speeches, anybody who's talking, anything you can listen to. And to be honest, some of you guys might have this video playing in the background and be listening to me. Most of you guys who are doing that are auditory learners. Again, it's just a different type of learning. And auditory learners are people who prefer to listen to what's being said. They prefer to hear people. They respond to voices, you know, lectures, group discussions, people talking. That's the best way they respond to retaining information. And a lot of these kind of people do like having tutors, teachers, or someone to help them with learning. Again, nothing wrong with that. That's the second type of learning. Now the third type of learner is a kinesthetic learner. These people take notes, they write things, they do things. They have to be active, they have to be you know, doing something so they can learn. A kinesthetic learner likes a hand-on approach. They like to be doing things, they like to be involved. And that's the best way they learn. So usually in that case, it involves them touching an object or doing something, again, you know, hands-on. Whether that's props, objects, you know, when they're writing notes, taking notes, you know, typing up on the keyboard. These people like to be doing things. So like I've said it, we've got three different types of learners. And you guys may be one of them, you may be two of them, like I said, you may be sometimes, very rare, you might be all three. And there's a small percentage of you guys out there who may be none of them. But what I'm saying here is it doesn't matter. And what I'm here to give you guys is some options for depending on what kind of learner you are. So if you're a visionary learner, I definitely just recommend you obviously go on YouTube so you can see things. I definitely recommend you go on websites like QKids, Cambly, Udemy. These are places where you can see videos, you can learn from watching people. And you know, everything you need to learn is right there for you. Especially here on YouTube and definitely Udemy, you know, there are courses there you can learn. And if you don't like that kind of thing, trust me, when you go on the internet, you can just type up video guides, video courses. There's no excuse for you not to be learning. You guys who are visual learners, you have the tools, you have many tools. There are enough places on this internet where you can find clips to help you learn. Even if you go on social media this day and age, you know, on Instagram, you can find people who are showing you stuff visually so you can see it while you're learning. If you go on Twitter, you can find people who have video guides, video courses, which you might have to pay for, which sometimes are free, whatever it may be, you have it right there. Now, for those of you who are those auditory learners, you guys also have the tools. And let me tell you what kind of tools you guys can use. Podcasts, for example. Go on onto your phone, open up the podcast app. For those of you who have an iPhone, you literally have a uh, podcast app right there. For those of you who have Android, I'm not sure if you have a podcast already there, but you can just go onto your app store and find the same things. There are plenty of discussions out there on podcast apps, but not only that, YouTube also has many kind of videos which are purely for listening to. Those of you who have YouTube channels that are similar to me, 
I'm pretty much not showing you guys anything you know special on screen. You could also be listening to my videos. Those of you who like to listen to things, definitely go on YouTube, definitely go on podcast app, definitely find group discussions, Q and A's, where you can hear people talking. You can listen to what people are talking about. There are more than enough places and more than enough podcasts you can listen to. I'm telling you, open the podcast app, type in anything. Type in wealthy mindset, type in millionaire, type in billionaire, type in making money, type in real estate, type in health, type in wealth. You will find tons and tons of podcasts that you guys can listen to. There is no excuse, again, not to be learning in this day and age. We have the tools at our fingertips and not enough of us are using them. Now, let's talk about the third type of learner. Those of you who like to be hands-on, those of you who like taking notes, who are kinesthetic learners. The good thing about you guys is you can actually use the first two to do your way of learning. You can watch videos and start taking notes. You can listen to things and then start trying to do them while you're listening to them. Now, I'm not saying you should multitask, but what I am saying is you can practice what you're learning. You can put it into use. You can put it and you can execute it. And, you know, I think a lot of kinesthetic learners are people who don't always know that they're kinesthetic learners. You know, they might go to school and they might be studying. They might go to, you know, university or go to a new job and be learning something. And they don't understand why they're not quite getting it. A lot of the times, they just need to be doing something hands-on. They need to be executing, practicing it. The good thing is, with these kind of learners, I feel like you can, you know, get away from your mistakes quicker. You can learn from your mistakes quicker because you're just practicing something, you're executing it, and you're seeing what goes right and what goes wrong. Either way, you adjust and you move on. And I, myself, am a kinesthetic learner. There are so many times I've tried to learn something, you know, through reading, through listening, for, through visual, and I don't quite understand what's going on. Or even sometimes I don't even realize why it's actually applicable. You know, but when you get put into situations where you actually have to apply it, or apply what you've learned, like that, you know, applied knowledge I talked about the other day, then you realize you do know what you're talking about, or you do know how to make adjustments, or you do know why it's relevant. But what are some things that you guys who are kinesthetic learners can do? Well, you guys can actually do the same thing that the first two groups are doing, you know, YouTube, podcasts, guides, courses, but all you have to do is put them into practice. Now, it's not very easy, you know, because sometimes you don't always have the tools, sometimes you're not really sure what to do, but the good thing about us kind of learners is we actually just step out and we just try and make the change, we try and make things happen. And that's how we prefer to learn, and that's what works best for us. But with the other two groups as well, whether you're a visual learner, whether you're an auditory learner, whatever you are, again, all it needs to take is you trying to put in the effort, you taking the time to learn. If you like to read, then you can read. You know, that's again, that's visual. You know, you're reading, you're seeing the words in front of you. If you like to listen to things, people talking on podcasts, people talking on YouTube, you can listen to those things and make improvements to your life. But with all three of these types of learning, again, it does not matter who you are. You have no excuse not to be learning. So what I want to say on this Sunday is spend your afternoon, spend one or two hours learning. Find what works for you. If you don't know what works best for you yet, find what works for you. Try the things I talked about and find what works for you. Because you need to be learning. How are you going to make improvements in your life if you're not learning each and every day? How are you going to become better, you know, become successful, get to where you want to get to without making improvements each and every day? How are you going to succeed on your journey without putting in the work, without putting in the effort, without putting in the time? Quite frankly, it's just not possible. That's why I encourage you guys to learn. That's why I encourage you guys to watch YouTube videos. It doesn't just have to be my YouTube videos, but it has to be some kind of videos. That's why I encourage you guys to listen to podcasts. That's why I encourage you guys to spend less time on social media and actually use your time for good things which will actually help you benefit. There are enough ways you can learn in this day and age. There are enough ways you can improve yourself. Paid ways, free ways. It doesn't matter what you want to do. You have the tools. We have the facilities. We have what we need. But again, not all of us are using them. So what do I want to say for the last time on this Sunday? Are you learning? Are you looking forward to going to work tomorrow? Are you not looking forward to going to work tomorrow? Are you looking forward to your week? Are you not looking forward to your week? Either way, what can you do to change that? What can you do to start putting yourself on the right path? Can you change what route you've been taking? Can you start making improvements that you need to see? Can you start adjusting to a better life? Again, I leave it all up to you guys. You know, I've got the tools for you guys. You guys have the tools for yourselves. Other people are showing you the tools. The tools are out there, the options are out there. It's up to you to go and find them. And not only that, to actually execute on them. Use them to your advantage. So overall, as always, tomorrow is Monday. We'll be back here with the Monday motivation to get you guys up and ready for the last week of July. Yes, people, that is it. It's almost August. Added to that, we have many links in the description. Please check them out. We've got my smartwatch brand, Time Gear Watches, so go check us out. And always, like I tell you guys, if you don't promote yourself, who will? So that's why I've got to promote myself here. Don't be disappointed. Also, we've got cryptocurrency through Coinbase, stock through Robinhood. Go check us out. The first link in the description is a free guide to making online profits written by me, again, for those of you who are visual learners, that's something you guys can look into. I don't have anything audio for you guys, but either way you can check that out, it's completely free. Lastly, I do wanna say, again, a huge thank you to you guys for subscribing, liking, commenting, all the good stuff. Keep spreading love, keep sharing the videos. I'm loving it right now. I'm gonna keep supporting you guys. You guys keep supporting me. We'll keep improving ourselves each and every day. But that's for today's you guys. Thanks a lot for watching. I got money making, you got learning to be doing. See you guys tomorrow for Money Motivation. Peace.